welcome to Papa Bear Peppers. I'm Harold and on this episode we're going to be talking about my improved seed germinating process. The tools that we're going to need today. First of all a measuring device and in this case this is a one teaspoon measuring cup. Something that I always have when I'm doing seeds, my tweezers. These have been sterilized with an alcohol previously so that they're nice and clean. And another item that I use extensively is my six point knife. And I'll put a uh, link in the description on where these items are. What I'll be using to, to do the seed germinating process, as you've been seeing, is my 3% hydrogen peroxide. Make sure that it is 3% hydrogen peroxide. Purified water or it can be rainwater as in this case. And during my seed soaking period, I'm going in your I'm going to use a product that I've used for years, and this is called Roots Accelerator by House and Garden. This is an amazing product that'll definitely help with your root German, your roots growth and your seed starting germination process. While it is a little expensive on the upfront, it lasts so long and just a single drop is all you need to, in a bottle of this water, to accelerate your root growth on your seedlings and to help with your seed sprouting and germination. So let's get started on this episode. We'll start out with the basics, starting with a measuring spoon of your choice. Next is the container. In this case, I'm using a smaller one, but it's convenient to the size of the amount of seeds you're going to be soaking. Next is our 3% hydrogen peroxide and water. In this case, we're using rainwater, but you can use filtered water, or if you do use tap water, give it time to soak to get the chlorine out of the water. Next, we'll have our seeds, of course. And again, if you decide to, this is my choice when I'm doing a lot of seeds. And it's a multi-container that opens at the end. You push that in, and it pops up. Put your seeds in and it clips right into place. It's really convenient when you're doing a lot of seeds in the refrigerator. So, next we're going to grab our soaking device. And I'm gonna put in the seeds that I'm going to use. In this case, you can see by the bag what we're using. And you can see the marking on there. And also, I have a little label on here that identifies the number that I have corresponding with that bag. So next, I'm going to do equal parts of hydrogen peroxide to water. So one, in this case, one teaspoon of hydrogen peroxide. And we'll follow that up with a teaspoon of my either purified water or rain water or water that's been sitting long enough to evaporate the chlorine. Minimum 24 hours. Now my seeds are in my solution and this is going to help to inoculate the seeds, kill off any harmful bacteria that may be there and also soften the shell up a little. So once I've got it in there I swirl it around a little bit just to get, make sure that the seeds are completely covered. There we go. Now I'm going to come back in about 30 minutes to allow these seeds time to absorb the hydrogen peroxide water solution and to completely cleanse them. In the meantime, I get some of the other items that I'm going to need for the soap. While I'm waiting, I just make sure that everything, and at this point, I've swirled the seeds to make sure that they're completely inoculated. 
Now after the soak, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour them out, in this case over a paper towel that's sitting over a container. This allows my seeds to be caught and the solution to transfer through. It makes it real convenient when you want to put your seeds back into this container. A couple of taps and then I get out my point blade to just get the rest of the seeds out, loosen them up so that I can get them out of my container. Now what I'm going to do is pour some of my rainwater or purified water into the container and then dump that over the seeds. That's going to completely clean my container out and get it ready for my next step, which is the soak. Now I'm going to add my Roots Accelerator to my water. And I'm telling you this is a dynamite product. I've had this particular bottle for five years and it only takes a drop in a bottle of water to completely dissolve into that water and create the perfect solution for your seeds to germinate. Remember, after we've done the soak in the hydrogen peroxide water solution, it's going to allow the seeds to absorb this powerful root growth product into the seeds and accelerate our seed germination process. And that's all you need right there. That's about a quarter of a teaspoon. One, two drops. A shake vigorously so that you get a nice mix and you can see it turn the color of the water just slightly. Perfect. Now, I'm going to turn the seeds back into the container. I gather them to the center because then all I have to do is flip the paper towel back over on my container and they'll all be nicely put back into it. Now you can use another device if you need to, say a spoon, if you're putting them into a larger container. But for this purpose, it's working perfectly. I'll put them in and just tap the paper towel and they fall right in. I double check to make sure they're all in. And look, now they're all placed in there neatly. No seeds lost. Now I take my Roots Accelerator water solution and I pour some in there. Just enough to make sure the seeds are completely covered. Close the lid and it's off to the refrigerator they're going to go. I have a refrigerator out in my garage and this is where I tend to keep all my seeds. So it's in for the overnight soak. Alright. The next day I come back to retrieve my seeds so I can go ahead and get them into my paper towel baggy improved method. I've noticed that the seeds have all fallen and that's a good sign. Make sure that you do look for that. As a rule of thumb, it's been my experience that if you do have floating seeds, a very good chance that they are not going to germinate. So, what I tend to do is look at them and make sure that they've all went to the bottom. And I dump them out into my paper towel again over the bowl. This time I'm going to use that solution for my paper towel method. And prior to this I fitted the paper towel that I'm going to place in my 3x4 baggie. And this is the perfect time to have your tweezers available to pull out those extra seeds. Just be careful you don't squeeze them too hard with the tweezers. Now I'll conveniently move 
the paper towel with my seeds off to the side and I have my fitted paper towel ready to soak up. Here I'm just going to soak it with some more of the Roots Accelerator water solution. I like to have a little bit of excess water on my paper towel just to make sure that the seeds stay nice and damp. Not wet, but damp. Just helps to accelerate the seed germination process. I've already taken the liberty of marking my bag with the appropriate number. Now I lay my paper towel back out. And I'm going to take my point blade and start laying the seeds carefully on the paper towel. Notice that I'm just placing them on the outside. It's been my experience not to cover the seeds up with additional paper towel so that the roots grow away from the paper towel and make it easier to remove germinated seeds and plant them in whatever media you decide to use. I do tend to get a little spacing on my seeds just so that the roots won't grow together when they do start germinating or as we like to call it popping. Everything's going perfectly and this little knife point tool makes a great tool for just moving things around. It's just got the perfect little blade on one side and a little point on the other that I use for opening up holes on the plugs that I use and also in the soil. It's a great all-around tool and I'll put that in my description below. Next, I open up my bag and I put the seeds so that they will face down and away from the number. That way I can identify without having the seeds covered up by the number or the writing if that's what you choose to do. Now I'm going to take my knife tool again and straighten out the bag inside of this bag. Obviously you could use a sandwich bag if you want or anything else depending on the amount of seeds that you use and what you have available don't have one of these point knife tools you can always use a pair of tweezers or some other kind of device. So once I get my seeds in there and they're placed the way I want them I just lightly tamp down and then seal the bag up. You'll get enough oxygen through the bag that you don't have to worry about leaving the bag open. From this point, I'm going to move them to the heat pad where they'll sit on top of a piece of cardboard just to make sure that I get the warmth to help them accelerate their germination. Next, I'm checking my seeds to see if I have any that have germinated. Now, as you're going to see in the photo here, what I'm looking for is roots coming out of the seeds just like that and that just proves to you that the germination has happened. In this case I have them as you can see me pointing them out. Plenty that are germinated and these are ready to go into the medium like you see down below the soil or in the case that you're about to see into the plugs that I've been using here recently to start a lot of these. I lightly go in with my point knife tool and remove the germinated seed. You want to make sure when you do put these in whatever medium that you put the root down. In this case I've already opened this up but I'm going to make sure that it's opened up. There's plenty of room for me to put the seed in and that's the convenience of that tool. On one end I can have the seed and on the other end I still have a working tool. I gently negotiate the seed into the plug and then I'm going to go ahead and put it into my seed tray. You'll note that on the side I'm going to mark the seed tray. I could have a bunch of 
tags, but it's just as easy to just write on these seed trays. They're not expensive, and it's just convenient for me to just write it there, and then I don't forget what seed it is, and it's easy to identify. Perfect. My numbers match as I have them marked on the bag, and they match to the list that I've created. I hope that was helpful in helping you this season with your seed germination. And here's one of my starts that's growing right now. They're growing very rapidly. And I put together a little prelude here to show you a recap of what we've done tonight.